Today on Hack Tip, we're talking meta characters part two. This hack tip is brought to you by Eero. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I am your host, Shannon Morris, and today we are talking about more meta characters. Last week, I broke down which characters can be used as meta characters and started showing you some examples. Today, we are going on with the mini series and we are going to show you more of the meta characters. So, today, we are going to focus mainly on the different ways that you can use the little bracket meta characters. So, first off, when I say brackets, I'm talking about the square brackets, and they are used to specify a set of characters inside of them. So, brackets can be used to specify regular literal characters or meta characters, which just so happen to be treated like literal ones if they are inside the brackets. Now, this rule does not include the little caret or the dash, and I'll give you some more examples of that a little later on. Now, first, I'm going to do a really simple example. So, for this one, we are going to type in grep, single quote, hack with a capital H, T and 5, close the bracket, close your single quote, wildcard.txt, and hit enter. Okay, so this is going to find any entries for hack 5 which you'll see the five right here, or hack T, and there is the T for that. So I have hack T as one of my first ones, and then hack five, and so on and so forth. Now we can go ahead and add a little caret sign to create negation. So the caret is a little bit wonky, but it basically tells the command to grep only the words that don't have a five in the character position if I use hack five, for example. So for this one, if I type in grep, single quote, hack, open bracket, caret, five close bracket single quote star dot txt and hit enter. This will give me an output with hack tip, hack shop, etc, etc listed, but not hack five. Now if you add a dash inside of those brackets, that will look for a range of characters. So that would look something like this. So I'll do five through seven, erase that caret, hit enter. Okay, so this one will find hack five, hack six, hack seven, more hack five entries, and another hack five way down here. Now you may be wondering what happens if you stick a caret outside of those brackets, and it just so happens it will be treated like a meta character. So for example, if I type in grep, single quote, caret, I'll do H and T as an example for this one, close out those quotes, dot txt, hit enter. Okay, and here we have a slew of entries that I receive. This is why I customized it to be green so that it's really easy to find wherever my command was entered. <laughs> so this is going to show me all the words that start with either a capital H or a capital T. Now if I add a dash in between those, like hack dash T, H dash T, it will output all the words that start with any letters from H through T in the alphabet. If you stick that dash before HT, like so, that is also going to find any words that begin with a dash, begin with an H, or begin with a capital T. Now lastly, if you include that caret outside of the brackets like this, that is only going to list words that start with H at the beginning of the line, while if I do that without the caret like this, that will show me any entries that start with H throughout the text documents, not just at the beginning of a line. Okay, I hope that all made sense because I'm going to be right back with more meta characters after this break. When you're looking to improve your wireless network, making sure your entire home has a strong signal is definitely a must, and that is where Eero comes in. They are launching their very first second generation mesh Wi-Fi system that comes with one Eero and one to two of these little beacons. These are mesh access points. They are not extenders. They are smaller. They plug into an outlet. They have an ambient nightlight built in, and they are more powerful than the originals. But of course, if you already have the original, that's totally cool. Euro has you covered. These babies are backwards compatible and they can be purchased separately too. Systems start at $3.99 for all three of the components together, but if you just want to buy one beacon to add on, for example, you can. They are cheaper than the originals too at $149 each. We have gotten a chance to test these all around our warehouse where our wireless usually does not reach from one end to another and the Eero Mesh does a great job 
job of fixing the headache and giving me the speeds that I pay for with my ISP. Plus, it was very easy to set up and it was also reliable. Eero is also announcing the Eero Plus subscription, which includes advanced network security monitoring, supplementing the features that are already built in that you get for free with the device. And they also include content filtering, which is great for houses with kids. Now, with any system, you get automatic updates, two-factor authentication for admin access, and Eero's backing with a bug bounty program and third-party audits, which are super important to the InfoSec industry. We've got a coupon code for you, too. For free overnight shipping, you can visit Eero.com, and at checkout, select Overnight Shipping, then enter Hack Tip, that's H-A-K Tip, to make it free. Check it out and learn more at Eero.com. All right, we are now back and we are going to talk about alternation. Alternation matches a set of strings to other regular expressions. That probably made no sense, but for example, if I type in echo hack five, and I'm going to pipe that to grep. We have learned about pipes previously, search for it in my hack tip series. I'm going to grep hack five, hit enter, and I should get hack five as my output. Now, if I do the same thing, but I'm going to change this to a lowercase hack five, I get nothing. It'll give me no output. Now, why is that? Well, the first one gave us an output of hack five because both commands matched exactly. The second command did not match, so no output was given. Alternation allows me to fix this problem by adding a little pipe to the grep command, so I can type in, for example, echo, hack tip, and I'm going to pipe that to grep again. We're gonna use tack E for E grep, and I'm going to look for hack five or alternation hack tip. Close that out and hit enter. Okay, so this one gives me an output of hack tip because grep will either look for hack five or alternatively hack tip as well. Now, if the echo command does not match up with either of these two, it won't give me an output at all. Now, remember that tack E again is for extended grep or E grep, which you can also use if you want to. I've gotten used to grep, so it's the one that I always use, but it doesn't matter. You can choose whichever one you want. Alternation, the little pipe sign that you see in there, can be used with multiple strings, not just two either. So I could look for hack five, hack tip, and tech thing all at the same time if I wanted to. You can also go absolutely nuts and you can start adding in other meta characters to your grep command to find exactly what you are looking for as well. And now that you know all these different meta characters, yay! You can do all sorts of things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hack five, and hit that awesome little like button and share this video if you got some good information. Until then, then I want to hear your feedback. Comment below. Let me know which meta characters are your favorite and what kind of commands you use all the time. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist.